Hey everyone, Paul Johnson, Mokon, New Minnesota, Laughing Trout Fly Tying Club. Today I'm going to be tying a real simple fly, the CDC and elk. So it's a CDC bodied elk hair caddis, if you will. So the body is a single CDC feather that we're going to wrap around the, the hook. And then the, the wing and, and the head is just uh, some elk hair. So let's uh, get started here. I'm going to be using a size 16 dry fly hook. It's actually going to be a 1XL long dry fly hook. Get that positioned in the vise. Thread doesn't really matter uh, if you want to use a, I'm going to be using a dot tan uni. You could use a, you know, a gray or, or rusty dun, any of those colors. So just get the, uh, the thread started at about the three quarter point and then wrap that back to the bend of the hook. For the body, I have a single CDC feather, and I get like this uh, kind of done colored. Uh, when I use this fly particularly, is here in the driftless area, is in the spring when we get these dark caddis or a gray caddis, I'm not sure what the, the proper name of them is, but I think this fly really imitates that caddis really well with that dark underbody. So I just tied it in the uh, tip of the feather, pulled the, the barbs forward, tied it in. I'm going to put a half hitch in my thread, hanging from my bobbin cradle, and then I'm going to use the rotary feature uh, to wrap this forward. You can just do it by hand. And then if you get start to get some of these fibers sticking straight out, that's okay. All right, so we're going to come up to that three-quarter point. Tie that in with my tying thread, a couple wraps. And then cut that excess off. So if you got these strands here, that's just fine. Let them hang. Uh, the more the merrier. So I've taken a clump of elk hair. I've uh, combed out the under fur. And then I've evened it up in a hair stacker. The tips of the hair should come right to the back of the hook. And come in here with two loose wraps of tying thread, and then I'm going to pull tight. A couple more really tight wraps there. Now I'm going to lift a, a portion of that bundle. I always say I'm going to lift up a third, lift up a third, lift up a third. There, so four thirds. And then come underneath a couple wraps right around the bare hook. Gather that all back together and then make two tight wraps at that original tie-in point. Come underneath that bundle of hair. A couple wraps right there again on the bare hook. I'll come in and do my whip finish. All right, and we'll cut the tying thread. And then I'll gather up all of this uh, butt ends of these elk hairs and then with one cut coming in at an angle form the head of the fly so there it is a CDC and elk real simple just two materials give that a try here in, in the spring I think you'll be pleasantly surprised hope you enjoy it take care